good evening friends welcome back to my channel infinite trade so my name is robin and let's begin our nifty and bank nifty analysis for tomorrow and also we'll do a small discussion on what happened in the market today uh i'm not playing the uh, you know yesterday's video uh, like i always do but uh, if you all remember the levels that we discussed for uh, nifty yesterday so i said uh, nifty will attempt 17200 to 250 area and uh, this is the place where you need to book your profits if you are holding a call option and you will see some selling pressure at that area and i think uh, exactly uh, nifty did the same thing the only thing was it did not open flat or it did not open slightly gap up but it opened with a huge gap up and i think that's one of the reason why most of you would not be able to trade uh, because of the huge gap up but if you see exactly at 17250 you know the high attempted today it was 17250.25 so exactly at 17250 uh, we saw some serious selling pressure uh, which we already discussed in yesterday's video because we spoke that 17200 to 17300 is going to be a very strong supply zone so nifty has to travel inside that zone and yes you will see such kind of selling pressure and even uh, i have posted this on my telegram group that we are entering the supply zone uh, 17 to 50 so be careful so people who are missing such kind of updates please join the telegram channel also the link will be posted down in the description so yes nifty was uh, sideways and volatile uh, because of the huge gap up bank nifty was sideways uh, for me this was not a volatility in bank nifty but it exactly uh, behaved very well and if i activate my lines you would see that you know we opened gap up we exactly touched 35350 which was the resistance which i already marked and immediately you know we saw a red candle and people who have uh, you know learned technical analysis from me they would know that uh, you know this is the kind of a setup that you get post a gap up and you also know where your targets was exactly came to the target and it reversed okay and then it was continuously sideways and it opened on a uh, it closed on a flat note so this is all about what happened today now let's quickly check what should be the plan for tomorrow so before we move on to the plan let's see how the daily candle is formed today in both nifty and bank nifty so if we look at Nif bank nifty uh, so this is trying to form a double bottom kind of a pattern but uh, i don't know if we have that enough strength because see we have gone here we have come down here and right now we are waiting at this point so a close above this level will only confirm that uh, you know bank nifty can possibly change its trend so we need a daily candle uh, close above this so when i say uh, we should close above this then it sh it should be a good bull candle okay so you know if this is the level understand that this is the neckline so we do not want you know bank nifty to gap up here and then continue the rally because this will not sustain for a long time because we know that indices usually fill the gaps okay and it may sooner or later come back to this range so if we need a breakout that breakout should be a proper breakout like a very good bull candle here so that you know it gives a fear to the uh, sellers that okay we need to run away now so that should be the kind of pattern uh, we should see if it really has to change its trend uh, if you look at nifty see it has already given a breakout of the double bottom okay but this breakout isn't that strong see it has already formed a double bottom it has also closed above the neckline but look at the candle it is not at all convincing with a gap up it has managed to close above it can fall anytime because we have such huge resistances at this place and 17200 to 300 we have already spoken that it is a supply zone so nifty would easily fall and you know try to fill all the gaps that has that it has left behind okay so this is the update that i wanted to give uh, now let's quickly check on the 
data today's video might be a little longer but please do watch it the reason for the videos getting longer is to uh, explain all the logic behind it so that uh, after some time maybe after a month or two we'll keep the video short so that i don't have to discuss much and people would already know why i am analyzing in this way so if we look at today's positions fis have sold some futures here okay so that's a good thing because uh, right now we are hitting resistances so definitely they should take some short positions uh, the only problem here is the quantity is very low and they have uh, call long and put long put long is a bit higher than call long uh, but otherwise both the options are in long positions so that means you can expect a uh, range bound with some volatility and if we look at pro desk uh, even they have shorted futures exactly correct because uh, we are hitting resistance in nifty and they have 31700 call short and 21900 put short so again this is not a good sign so we can expect a sideways market tomorrow uh, like we had today and if we have to discuss any positions on the left hand side let's quickly do that too so fs have created some long positions in future but the short positions is more than the long position and if you look at pro they have closed long position and they have created short positions if you look at index call options so fis have created 47000 long positions and created 42000 short positions and pros have closed their long position and created short positions and if we look at put uh, fis have created long positions and the short position is really really less and similarly pros have created long positions but they have good short positions so yes so looking at this data we can expect the market to be uh, sideways and since uh, tomorrow it is a wednesday and they have already carried a volatile position so we can expect some good volatility tomorrow so this is all about our participant wise data now let's quickly check the option chain so if you look at bank nifty's option chain bank nifty's option chain looks bearish because see look at the call change in open interest we uh, have about 25 lakhs and the change in open interest input is just about 11 lakhs and we can see some short covering happened in the money but we do not see fear in this area but if you look at put the only problem is uh, look at this so people have exited here around 34 400 500 600 uh, not sure what is the reason because otm puts they shouldn't have been exited usually this happens when uh, they're expecting some fall kind of thing because you just imagine there are still some good premiums left here so and we do not see that much put writing here also because sometimes what happens is when you see exit here they had their positions here so the percentage that you see here 35 45 60 percent you will see like 75 percent 80 90 95 percent something like that so people exit their position here and they aggressively take positions here but this is not the case in bank nifty so far uh, let's quickly check the charts oi charts so if you look at the oi charts it is clearly visible that call writing was significant today and overall call writing is definitely significant 35000 people are still holding the short straddle okay which we already discussed for the last 3 days and even i hold a short straddle around 35 100 okay so no loss so far uh, it is giving definitely a very good profit because market wherever it moved it came back to 35000 immediately and if we see here uh, no significant put writing seen here only call writing is significant and some put writers here because they might have taken hedged position but otherwise we can see call exit and put exit here and only put writing has been done at the money so overall bank nifty looks a little bearish now let's quickly check uh, nifty to see uh, because nifty looked bullish because it opened higher and managed to stay higher yeah this is the oi chart for nifty so see this is totally opposite so we have a good amount of put writing and today also we have seen some good amount of put writing this is clearly visible in the change in open interest we can see a lot of put writings here and 17000 happens to be a very good support for this week and 1700 and 17200 people are holding short straddles 
so keep this in mind so again nifty may also stay sideways at least for tomorrow and if we quickly check on the proper option chain so we have some so the first thing is we can see that it is clearly saying bullish uh, because the change in oi is more towards the put side and the oi pcr also suggests bullish because anything above 1.2 is bullish okay so we have seen short covering uh, in the money so a good amount of short covering look at the percentage 82 percent 100 percent 150 percent and the call short covering that has been done they did not add their positions here and if you look at put side uh, we can see some good open interest built near at the money which is around 17 200 250 and 300 okay so this is where the put writers are sitting at the moment uh, so this is all about nifty so nifty's data looks bullish now let's quickly check the price action and see what should be the plan for tomorrow so if the first let's discuss about nifty so i'm just switching it to let me switch it to 15 minutes uh, and i'll also activate the lines okay see so definitely it is entering the supply zone just see the kind of fear here so you cannot you know identify any sort of a price action here because if you are a technical trader like me or if you are a price action trader like me it is going to be a very difficult task just see a huge gap up then we saw so this is the first swing okay so this is the first swing then you see that okay it has formed a higher high and a higher low okay first time it took resistance at uh, 250 17 250 and it has taken support uh, at the place which it broke and then it formed a lower high and then it formed a lower low okay and then it closed here so this is not at all a price action okay so people who have learned technical analysis from me uh, you already know that the dow theory that i've taught you how do you identify the swings and there is a clear statement that trends one trend once established is more likely to continue so that should always continue but here there was nothing like that this was totally a random day today because of the huge gap up and since it is entering the supply zone it is definitely going to have some issue so tomorrow what should be your plan uh, that is going to be easy uh, so if we look at nifty okay one second since i'm trying to do things a little faster things are passing up yeah no problem so if we open flat and once we break 17250 okay so once we break 17250 the upside seems to be limited the max it can reach is around 17316 so if in case if you want to take a, or go long in nft then this should be a target even if it goes higher just avoid it it may come down anytime so 17316 should be a target uh, the max by any chance that it can move is to 17385 not beyond this okay but this is the safe target i would not prefer this because the risk reward is not favorable here and in case if you want to go for a put buy that should be only below this level and your target should be this gap so what is this level let's quickly check that out okay 17168 so just think that if nifty closes below 17160 you can take a position here and you may definitely see some sort of selling pressure coming in it will not halt at 17100 but it would halt somewhere at this place somewhere close to 17050 or 40 so on both the cases the targets are not that big but definitely i'll be uh, more comfortable if i see nifty at this place and if it is taking a reversal here then i'll be more comfortable in taking a put option here because every time you will get a very good dip because of the selling pressure that you can see in a supply zone okay but otherwise i think uh, tomorrow we can expect a sideways and a volatile market uh, what happens if you see a huge gap up so similarly the way we discussed today so if nifty gaps up at this area say it is gapping up around 
seventeen two eighty to three hundred. I'll wait for a, a red candle and immediately take a short position here with the with this high as an SL. And my target should be around seventeen two hundred. Okay, a hundred points fall. But otherwise, I am not going to plan any aggressive positions tomorrow. And this is all about Nifty and any gap down. So we'll wait till it breaks one sixty, and then we'll take a put option. Okay. And let's check out Bank Nifty quickly. Yeah. So Bank Nifty is definitely respecting a resistance, but the only problem is I'm expecting Bank Nifty to go until thirty five five hundred. So that I can take some aggressive short positions, but it is not giving us that opportunity itself. So, what should be your plan for Bank Nifty? Uh, so, thirty-five. So, we we need a close above thirty-five three fifty. Okay. So, if we close above thirty-five three fifty, uh, you can take a long position, but I'm not going to take it. Uh, but people who are risk takers can definitely approach it, and your immediate target should be. Thirty-five, five hundred, or somewhere close to four eighty, to be precise. And in case if we open flat, and if we break this low, uh, or I would say, see, there is a problem on the downside because we did this rally from this place. Okay, this place is thirty-nine thousand. Oh, sorry, thirty-four thousand nine twenty-five. Okay, so we may again see a hit here and going back up. But thirty-five thousand is a psychological level. So if Bank Nifty comes below this level, which it held throughout the day, you know this is a very important level now. So tomorrow, what we can do is, in case Bank Nifty opens flat or if it opens gap down, and if it breaks thirty-five thousand, we'll wait for it because surely it will give a bounce, and in that bounce, we'll take a sell trade because when it bounces, we do not want it to come above thirty-five thousand fifty once again. So if you get a bounce here, then thirty-five thousand fifty will be your SL. Your entry will be at thirty-five thousand, and then you can plan for a bigger target also somewhere around thirty-four uh, six fifty. So this should be your target. So this is the plan for Nifty and Bank Nifty tomorrow. I hope you all enjoyed the video and the analysis. And thank you for watching. Uh, I'm again repeating myself. please do subscribe the channel and share the videos with your family and friends and you know this will motivate me and uh, it would uh, help me to create a lot of educational videos for everyone thank you so much for watching let's meet in another video till then take care bye bye